Hello Academic Gamers. So today my school had a snow day, so I thought it would be the perfect time to prepare a strategy video. For those going to states, this video will help you gain some extra strategies to use in the tournament. Today we're going to be incorporating factorial, a variation in equations, into our strategies. This, however, factorial and variations are only used in elementary and above, so if you're playing minor, this won't really help you. So let's begin! So before we begin the trick, I just want to review factorial. So 0 factorial equals to 1. 1 factorial is 1. 2 factorial is 2 times 1, which is just 2. 3 factorial is 3 times 2 times 1. And that 1 doesn't really matter which is 6. 4 factorial is 4 times 3 times 2. And then there's the 1 there, but it doesn't really matter. The 24. And then as you, you see the pattern, you multiply by the integers that are less than the number you have. So 5 factorial, that's 120. 6 factorial is 720. And then 7 factorial, if you did out, the multiplication is 5,040. And you really only need to know up to 7 factorial. You can learn the others too, but these are really the most important ones. So let's say the goal was 63 times 48. All multiplications are in forbidden, and the variation is factorial that's been called. That's one of the variations. So the real value of this, if you were to do the multiplication, is 3024. So we're going to show you how you can get a solution to this goal, a really simple one, without using multiplication. So note that factorial has a built-in multiplication system into it, like 5 factorial is 5 times 4 times 3 times 2. It already has multiplication in it. So we're going to start off by factoring these numbers. 63 is equal to 7 times 9, and 48 is equal to 6 times 8. What do you notice about these numbers? They're in a consecutive order. 6 times 7 times 8 times 9. The highest number here is 9, so we see that 9 factorial is equal to 9 times 8 times 7 times 6 times 5 times 4 times 3 times 2. We have, we have 9, 8, 7, and 6, but we have 5, 4, 3, and 2, and we don't really want those. That's, that's not part of the solution. So we can divide by 5 factorial which is equal to 5 times 4 times 3 times 2. By doing these division, we will eliminate 5, 4, 3, and 2, because we're dividing. And we're left with 9 times 8 times 7 times 6, which is equal to 3024, and that is our goal. So the solution would be 9 factorial, divided by 5 factorial equals to 63 times 48. Now try this example on your own. See if you can come up with a solution the way we did in the last example, and assume factorial has been called. Pause the video if needed. So to begin solving this problem, we can factor 30 into 5 times 6, and then 56 into 7 times 8. Once again, we notice there's consecutive numbers. So then we have 8 factorial is equal to 8 times 7 times 6 times 5 times 4 times 3 times 2. And we want to keep this part here which, get, which is equal to our goal, and we do not want 4 times 3 times 2. So what we can do here is divide by 4 factorial, which is equal to 4 times 3 times 2. And what happens here is 4 cancel out, the 3's cancel out, the 2's cancel out. So your solution, your final solution for this would be 8 factorial divided by 4 factorial is equal to 30 times 56. 
What if you're the goal setter and you want to create a goal you, that would be solved by this type of tactic? So during after you roll the cubes, select like four consecutive numbers. So let's say we did in this example, six, seven, eight, and nine. So you're gonna be doing six times seven times eight times nine. You're gonna want to pair these numbers off to create a goal. So you could do six times seven times eight times nine. So your goal here would be 42 times 72. You could also, let's say we did it again here, just we're drafting, we're drafting out ways to make a goal. We could also pair off six and eight and seven and nine, and your goal here would be 48 times 63. And then we could do, and there's a third option as well, six times nine, and then seven times eight, and your goal here would be 56 times 54. So if you have, when you're setting this goal, you have a lot of options because there's three different ways to set up the same solution that you'd be solving for. If you don't have like a seven, for example, you, can, you can't do the first one up here, but you can do one of these down here, the other two. And at the end, all three of these goals will get the same solution of nine factorial divided by five factorial. If you remember the five times four times three times two, they cancel out and you're left with nine times eight times seven times six. So you, if you create this type of goal and your opponent does not know how to solve it, you're going to win because they're not going to know what to do and they're going to be left stuck with a huge number when they multiply it out and they're not going to know how to solve. So we're going to end the video here. If you like the video, you can like the video on YouTube and subscribe and turn notifications on to be the first to receive new content. We're going to be posting more videos on tricks like this before states. I know you guys are all getting ready. Good luck to you guys all in that preparation. And if you always have a question, please feel free to leave a comment below and I'll get to you as soon as possible. Bye.